Hey there people, it's Grindfest once again and today I wanna talk about some multiplayer looter shooter games I've enjoyed playing. Let's begin. The Division 2 is the first in my list. This one started like an improvement over the first game for me, with nice gunplay and gameplay loop, nice weapon and build variety and some quality of life changes. Still, I feel like the atmosphere was better in the first game. I mean, the setting isn't very interesting in the first place. Anyway, after a while, I've started to feel the weight of the bugs, the grind, enemies feeling like ballot sponges and the nerfs on some hard-earned gear. If you are torn between playing this one or its predecessor, I'd say go with The Division 2, but don't expect too much from it. Number 9 is Shadow Warrior 2, an underrated game that offers lots of action, various weapons, good graphics and a lot of gore and humor to go with it. It offers a good amount of playtime and you can also play in the survival mode if you want to keep going after you are done with the campaign. A good pick, especially on a discount. Number 8 is Payday 2. The game that probably everyone owns and the game that just can't die. You start by robbing small stores and go bigger with every heist. As you play heists, you gain experience to unlock skills that let you do various things from increasing your reload speed to reviving an ally by yelling from a distance. Unfortunately, the game has a lot of DLC, but they are very cheap since the game is quite old by now. There are also a lot of mods if you want to customize your game further. In the next one, we have Gunfire Reborn. One of the surprises of the last year, Gunfire Reborn combines FPS, RPG and roguelite elements unless you go through randomized levels that resets every time you fail. You have 4 classes to choose from, and as you would expect from a roguelite game, every run lets you build your character differently. There are tons of weapons in the game and there are different upgrades available for each one. Not a fan of the cheapy characters personally, but it's not a deal breaker or anything. Definitely consider this one if you are looking for a looter shooter with a roguelite twist. Number 6 is Remnant from the Ashes. If I wanted to summarize this game, I'd say it's a co-op Souls-like game with cool guns. It offers nice visuals and gameplay in a post-apocalyptic world. It's also worth noting that the main story doesn't take very long to finish, but every playthrough is different thanks to the randomized areas and bosses linked to them. Remnant also values exploration and puzzle solving, if that's your thing. Certain skills and weapons are hidden waiting to be found. You may also find out that a lot of the fun stuff has been nerfed from the core game. The game's difficulty curve and enemy scaling can be odd at times, but overall it feels good and the enemy variety keeps you going. Number 5 is Risk of Rain 2. This one has so much more roguelite focus, and some would say it's not really a looter shooter, but trying to line up your items for a perfect build is so satisfying in this volatile game. The game features multiple classes to choose from and the action never stops. Very addictive game overall. In number 4 we have Deep Rock Galactic. Another title that is a bit different from your standard looter shooter that basically forced itself in my list because of how fun it is. You're a dwarf working for a cruel mining company that sends you on various missions that take place in various planets. Unfortunately, these planets are infested with alien species, mostly in the form of insectoids. There are four classes to choose from, and all of the classes complement each other in exploration and combat. The classes feel very balanced and their weapons are fun to use. The gunplay feels very good. The core gameplay loop is quite simple, but it remains fresh with the variety of missions. Add tons of customization options, frequent updates and some humor to go with it and you get this beautiful game. Even if your friends aren't willing to play this one, you can easily play the mission solo or play with random people. The community has been very helpful and chill in my experience. The next one is Destiny 2. Surely you've heard of this MMO sci-fi shooter. Great gunplay with tons of content such as dungeons and raids, nice visuals and audio, there is no reason not to try this game. There is also PvP if you want to do it, and I'd say it's fairly balanced for an MMO. It is free to play, but keep in mind that you need to get the DLC if you want to experience the game to the fullest. There isn't much to do without them. Number 2 is Warframe. You get to play as a space ninja. I'd say that alone is worth looking at. A free to play game with nice and fast combat, nice art style, Warframe is like a half-brother of Path of Exile in terms of endless PvE grind. There are tons of things to do in different planets, tons of weapons, tons of classes called Warframes to play with. 
The end game can feel repetitive for some people, but I think you should find that out yourself. Was there any doubt about which game would take the first place? Arguably the forefather of the looter shooter genre, this game offers great gameplay, unique art style, immense number of weapons and an awesome villain. It also offers various build styles for your class with deep passive skill trees. I guess the game could use more active abilities per class, but Borderlands 2 gets a pass because of how fun it is. It is quite accessible for your friends as well, getting it with all of the DLC packages is very cheap on sales. Speaking of accessibility, I wanna briefly mention that with games like Borderlands you have character levels and the main questline to follow through, going through the quests while your friend is not available means you will break synchronization and may result in some trouble. By trouble, I just mean that your friend would have to catch up or you would have to play those quests again with your friend. You will not have such issues when playing games like Deep Rock Galactic or Risk of Rain 2. Either way though, if you like looter shooters and haven't tried this one, DO IT! I don't really have honorable mentions this time around, I found out that it's not a genre that has a massive amount of titles to choose from. I guess you could try other Borderlands titles if you've had enough out of Borderlands 2. These are my suggestions for looter shooter games guys, hope you can find something for yourself and your friends. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video, peace!